Deborah Flea, what the fuck is you in the BET Awards committee thinking? Like, really, what are y'all thinking? I think that all of y'all nominations is based on a couple of fuck, based on fuckery and bullshit and popularity. I don't think that most of the people that are nominated for these awards deserve to even be nominated. I personally don't believe that, and I'm just going to get right into the situation at hand. I'm not understanding of the situation, and the main nomination that I really had an issue with is the female R&B pop award nomination because I really do feel like it's a bunch of fuckery and y'all always get that one wrong. Y'all don't never know what the fuck you're doing. Yes, this is not the Grammy Awards, but God damn it, this is the BET Awards. Urban music artists is this is their only outlet to really win an award these days. You know, Grammys and American Music Awards and VMAs don't, especially the VMAs, because they even cut the R&B video category out. They don't give a damn about R&B music or anything like that. So people can, you know, say, oh, it's just a BET award. It's not a Grammy. Yeah, that is true. But this is an award for their community. This is y'all motherfucking community. Our motherfucking community. My motherfucking community. So with that being said, it does mean something to to an extent. And I'm just getting to these um, fuck, fuck shit ass awards. Let's start off with the BET award for best female R&B pop artist, which is Beyonce, Muppet Braxton, um... A Mistress Keys, Hamhead, aka Rihanna, and Elvana. Um, the only two people that I really feel like deserves um, the awards is A Mistress Keys and Hamhead, simply because A Mistress has really has dropped Dyke on Fire, and that CD has sold a couple of albums. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think she's one of the highest selling ones that came out this year. I think in the female side, and um, Hamhead, um, she got a platinum plaque. And if this was last year, I never would have agreed to it. But since they got Best Female R&B and Pop Artist, I let the Hammerhead bitch make it. And everybody knows that I don't like Hammerhead at all. But with all the songs that she got on the radio, and a lot of them that I do like, like Pour It Up and Love Song and Nobody's Business and Shine Bright Like a Diamond and Stay. and um, Yeah, most of those songs I do like, but... You know, those are the only two that I really think that needs to be nominated. Beyonce, I don't think she deserved a no deserves a nomination because for the last year she has she has been she hasn't been active at all, so I don't think she deserves it. Muppet Braxton hasn't even dropped the album yet, and she only released one damn single, and that constitutes her having a nomination. Elle Bonner, who? So I really don't understand it at all. Okay, so with that being said, you got people that got really snubbed this year. You got people like Brandy, who just dropped 211 back in October. You got people like Keisha Cole, who just dropped Woman to Woman just um, last November and got, you know what I'm saying, some of the highest R&B female album sales. She's at over 300K at this point. And, you know, she's got one of the best-selling female R&B albums out right now. And she's not nominated. I mean... Like, what's up with that picture? Like, I don't get it. Like, why are people like Keisha, Fantasia, or um, Brandy not even nominated? And I kind of feel like, in a, in a sense, Kelly Rowland should be nominated as well. Even though she ain't dropped no album, but the bitch been all over the radio on everybody motherfucking song. But, that'll, but I don't want to sound like a hypocrite because I really didn't want Muppet Braxton to be nominated at all just for that one damn song. But I don't know. Would that, would that make me a hypocrite if I just said Kelly Rowland should have been nominated and not Muppet Braxton? I don't know. And, and everybody knows I don't like Muppet at all. But that's but I'm not trying to be biased. And that's not the reason why I don't want her to be nominated. Because everybody knows I don't like Hammerhead at all. And I still give her props for being nominated. I think she's way more deserving of it than these other bitches. But you know it is what it is with that. I just don't know. Um, I think that Deborah Flea is trying to make this award show more mainstream i guess um adding pop artists to the nominations i just oh, i mean what's what's next i mean is jason dorello Dur gonna be nominated next year i mean <laughs> whatever um best male r&b pop artist oh and as far as the um r&b artist female r&b artist category i think that hammerhead should win in my personal opinion. Best male um, army and pop artist, you got Chris Brown, Bruno Mars, Mars, Miguel, Justin Timberlake, and Usher. Um, I don't see anything wrong with this category at all. I think the deserving ones are nominated, even though I don't care for Bruno Mars at all, but it's just the ratchet in me that doesn't give a fuck about him. But um, I think it'll be between Chris Brown, Miguel, Justin Timberlake, and Usher. In my personal opinion, I think Miguel deserves it, and I think he has a big chance of winning. Um, the best group nominations, McLaurin and Ryan Lewis, Mary Mary, um, Miles Behavior, Slaughterhouse, and The Throne. 
I don't know who the fuck um, the, this, these Ryan Lewis people are, and I don't know who the fuck Slaughterhouse is, but I know who Mary Mary Minus Behavior in the, in the throne is, and I bet you any kind of money they're going to give it to the throne, because I don't see them giving it to nobody else. Best collaboration, 2 Chains and Drake, no lie. Um, ASAP Rocky featuring Drake, 2 Chains and uh, Kendrick Lamar, um, fucking problem. French Montana, Rick Ross, Drake and um, Lil Wayne, pop that. Drake and, uh, uh, Drake and uh, Kendrick Lamar, Poetic Justice, um, Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z, Student Ty, Kanye West um, featuring Big Sean, Pusha T, and um, 2 Chains with Mercy. That's a, that's a hard one. I really think that Brandy's Put It Down should have been nominated for this, but what the fuck ever. But in my opinion, I kind of want fucking problems to win this. But I kind of feel like it's going to either suit and tie or mercy. Which one do you think it's going to go to? Best male hip hop artist, 2 Chains, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Future, Kendrick Lamar. This is a pretty much hard one because all these motherfuckers are doing their damn thing. I personally would like to see either ASAP Rocky or Kendrick Lamar or 2 Chains win, but I kind of feel like they're going to give it to Drake just because he affiliated with Lil Wayne. And you know the EBT Food Stamp Card Awards always going up for him, going up for anything Lil Wayne, so whatever. Best female hip-hop artist. This shouldn't even be a damn category because we already know who's going to win. Uh, we got Azealia Banks who just dissed EBT. You got Eve, Nicki Minaj, Prunchita and Rai Rai. I don't know who the fuck Rai Rai is. My thing is, what the fuck is Rashida nominated for? Is she nominated for put it on and make them want to marry me? Put it on and make them want... Is it, that's what she nominated for? Because why the fuck is she nominated? I don't really understand it. But we already know it's going to Nicki Minaj. It ain't going to nobody else. Um, it, It's not going to nobody else. Because I know it's not going to Lazelia Banks. Because they don't even play her damn videos on EBT. I know it's not going to Eve. Because even though she had like two videos out over the last few months, she ain't been doing shit. And I know it ain't going to Rashida. And who the fuck is right, right? Who is that? Who the hell is that? I don't know who the fuck that is. So I know it ain't going to their ass. Um, we already know that's going to Nicki Minaj. Ain't even no point of faking it or playing. Um, video of the year. Two chains. Featuring Drake, no lie. Um, ASAP Rocky, um, fucking problems. Drake started from the bottom. Um, Drake, hell yeah, fucking right. And Kendrick Lamar, poetic justice. And let's see, did I get this shit wrong? I think I did. Um, no, I didn't. Um, the, the Ryan Lewis folks thrift shop. Um, Miguel, Adorn, and Rihanna Diamonds, Justin Timberlake, Super Tide, Kanye West, Mercy. I don't know who the hell gonna win it. Because number one, is those are too many motherfucking nominations for one. So I don't know who the hell gonna win it. My personal opinion, I want Miguel to win, of course. But if I, if I could pick one, I kind of think they're gonna give it to, to one of these Drake videos. Anything with Drake in it, they probably gonna give it to him. I, I really don't know who's gonna win. I, honestly, because Deborah Fleet in these wars is full of shit. They give, I mean, it's already hip hop dominated. We already got the ratchet ass BT hip hop awards. Send these motherfuckers to. Ooh, anyway. Video director of the year. Don't give a fuck about that, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Best new artist, Azealia Banks, Joey Badass. Who the fuck is that? Really, who the hell is Kendrick Lamar, Trinidad? You mean to tell me that Trinidad James? I'll go everything. Gets a nomination, but Brandy don't. Keisha Cole don't. Kelly Rowland don't. Fuck out of here, these. I'm ratchet as hell now. Like these ratchet ass nominations, and the weekend. Kendrick Lamar of the weekend deserves it. Best gospel artist. I don't know shit about gospel, but I'm going to call him out anyway. Dietrich Hatton, Lecrae, Tamla Mann, Mary Mary, Marvin Sapp. And we already know that shit going to Mary Mary with they, with they hypocritical asses. But anyway, Best Actress, Angela Bassett, Halle Berry, Taraji P. Henson, Gabrielle Union, and Carrie Washington. Now, this is this is 
is kind of a hard one too. I kind of think they might give it to Carrie Washington because of this whole scandal shit. So they might give it to her because I don't see them giving it to Gabrielle Union because I ain't seen her do shit. And I don't see them giving it to Taraji P. Henson either. And, and that's my bitch, but I don't see them giving it to her either. So I say they give that they might give it to Carrie Washington just based off the scandal fame that she been getting. Best actor: Don Cheadle, Common, Jamie Foxx, Samuel Jackson, and Denzel Washington. Who the fuck they gonna give it to? But who I want them to give it to? Hmm. I don't know. Don't give a fuck, honestly. But if I had to pick one person, I'd say Denzel just because he Denzel. You know what I'm saying? Because. Child. Young Star Award. Gabrielle Douglas. Don't know who the fuck that is. Um, Jacob Lattimore. Kiki Palmer. Jaden Smith. Quit. Who? Who the fuck? Quibenzin A. Oh, I ain't gonna try to pronounce it because I'm sounding like an itch, uneducated damn fool trying to pronounce it. I'll give it to um, Kiki Palmer because I don't know what these other motherfuckers doing. I don't even pay attention to these folks, so I don't know what the hell they doing. Um, best movie in all of them I ain't never seen besides uh, Think Like a Man, Spark or Something from Nothing, Danjo Unchained, and Beast of the Southern Wild. They might give it to Danjo or Sparkle. Which one do you think they're going to give it to? Subway Sportsman of the Year. We are, I ain't got, even got to call out the damn names. They're going to give it to Serene Williams. They always do. As far as the Subway Sportsman of the Year, they're probably going to give it to LeBron. I ain't got the time. Coco Viewers, Coca-Cola. What? Why do I got to be Coke? Why, can't, why can't nobody win no RC Cola award? Damn, they already wretched as hell. Why don't you give them an RC Cola award? But ASAP Rocky, fucking problem. Drake started from the bottom. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, Swimming Pools, uh, Miguel Adorn, Rihanna Diamonds, uh, Justin Timberlake, Super Ty. As much as everybody love Rihanna with a two shed head ass, I'll say that they might give it to Diamonds since it's a real choice award. Because Hammerhead is the most, it's the hottest thing out there. As much as I don't like the motherfucking bitch, she's the hottest thing out there. So I think they, uh, the viewers are going to vote for Hammerhead. The Centric Award, um, Muppet Braxton, um, Love and Wall, uh, Fantasia Lose to Win, um, Miguel Adorn, Nas Daughters, and Charlie Wilson, My Love is All I Have. I don't know what the fuck Nas nominated for in, in his damn Centric Award. I, I don't see it, but they'll probably give it to Miguel. I see Miguel winning, winning this award. I'd be surprised if anybody else do. Um, don't have the time for the um, Best International Act Award. Best International Act in the UK, I ain't got time for that either. So with that being said, I tired out all these damn nominations. And I must say that even though we always rag on the um, BET Food Stamp Card Awards, we all watch it for the fuckery and the ratchetness. But um, I must say that every each and every year these nominations become more stupider and stupider and stupider as time go by and so predictable. Like, I already knew they was going to nominate Beyonce for something when she ain't even had none out over the last year. And I just think it's unfair and everybody can say whatever they want to say, but um, you know, somebody came with me today on Twitter saying they can only nominate so many people. I know they can nominate only so many people, but the people that they chose to nominate is bullshit and that's just my opinion. Um, will I be watching the BT Food Stamp Card Awards? Of course. I need me something to laugh at. And of course, I need some material to bring to the videos. Do you think I agree with half of this shit that I just called out? Hell fucking no. Devil Fleet needs to be fired. We need Bob Johnson old ass back because we do not need Devil Fleet to be coming across that stage in that Idaho potato outfit that her ass always wear every motherfucking um, award show. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, but that being said, fuck Deborah Fleet and these damn award nominations because she because they bullshit. Like, how did who how did the BT Awards committee even come up with nominations like that? And I need to hear the rest of the performance because I know that R. Kelly performed. But I don't know who else is performing. But I would love to see Miguel perform. And I would love to see Kelly Rowland, Sierra perform um, as well. Fantasia, Miguel, Sierra. Yeah, and Kelly Rowland. I would love to see them perform. And probably Kendrick Lamar. But other than that, I don't want to see Lil Wayne ass. I don't want to see Drake. I don't want to see 2 Chains either. I hardly ever want, I hardly want to see ASAP Rocky. Because 
our, it, they don't never give the singers enough shine on these damn award shows. They give all the shine to the motherfucking rappers, and I don't appreciate it. That's what we got the BT Hip Hop Award for. Still, like, if we want to see some singers or something, we got to watch that cheap ass Soul Train Award show. I mean, what the fuck ever BET, but. You know, it is what it is, y'all. What do y'all think about the EBT Foodstone Card Awards? Because, I mean, they just get fucked up and fucked up every year. And who the hell got the Lifetime Achievement Award and who they going to pay tribute to? That's what I really want to know. Because the last thing that BET got right and the first thing they got right a year was the Witty Tribute when they had Monica, Brandy, Shaka Khan, and her mama up there performing for Dear Life up there on their damn stage. That's the last thing that they got right. And that was the first thing they got right in so many years. Fuck BET and these motherfucking nominations. Now let me go on about my day and watch the Bad Girls Club. I'm at this motherfucker. Bye.